Normally videos that cover Twitch have a sponsor, but since there is no sponsor this time, big ups to Silver Knight PC and LotusEaters.com. Why not? I can do that. On with the crappy show. Hey, 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 yeah. Here I go now, yeah. Here I go into DMCA, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I could front Metallica. Twitch is an amazing site where the rules are as sporadic as a shotgun blast hitting the side of a barn and then some asshole runs up and paints the target where all the shrapnel hit. And a move that shocks absolutely no one that's been on the receiving end of Twitch's heavy-handed approach to DMCA, they overdubbed Metallica with nursery rhyme music, it sounds like. Oh my. See, Twitch replaced Metallica's music at the end of BlizzCon's opening ceremony with generic royalty-free music because I guess Twitch's official page didn't have the rights to that music. Well, I'll be dipped in and rolling breadcrumbs. Bro, Gorilla Glue challenge. Now this, 2021 is starting to turn into my type of trash fire. It's one I can at least laugh at. Whereas the 2020s trash fire was just tragic and made me wonder why was I even bothering living. I love, I love to see it. <laughs> All right, focus. Let's listen to these heavy ass rock tunes. Play it, Stu. What the f music is this? Ugh. This, what is this? This is the type of music you see in B-roll for a camera lens review from Gerald and Dunn, dude. Let's get undone. Gerald and Dunn. All right, let's check out Slasher because I think he's the one that really broke this. What is this? It's like, it's amazing. I love this. It's literally just such a parody of the world we live in. You've got old dudes up there, boomers basically, rocking out to tunes that kids today don't give a rat's ass about. There's no Cardi B up there, and there's no like Tech 6 9 whatever the hell his name is. So who cares? It's like, oh great, I can listen to dad's music. What's this twinkle time sound? It seems Twitch did not obtain the music performance rights Blizzard obtained, for this channel, and so felt it prudent to replace Metallica on its official Twitch gaming channel, which it bubbled up to Twitch's front page. Skip to the one hour and 11 minute mark in the video below. Yeah, they, they took down the video actually, don't even bother trying to click it. You click that, because even Twitch knows this is a goof. It's like, it's, it's raw parody. Twitch is like, bro, didn't they have like a failed dating show like days ago that everybody lambasted? It was so, the, the fruit was so low, even I didn't bother with it. I was like, this is beneath me. I'm going to go watch Amaref take a sleep stream. I'm too good for this. Now, you see, this whole thing with Metallica is ironic on two levels. Level one, thoughts play copyrighted music without a single <laughs> given. Some of them use just dance as their sort of foil to escape the whole DMCA thing. Yes, there are even girls on Twitch that literally watch YouTube videos for Just Dance. This girl has raised over $200,000 for her now taboo house goal that we all pretend didn't happen. And she still hasn't bought a copy of the game to even run over on her PC. It's shameless. People give DSP crap. Yeah, Phil is a, a, a nozzle. But this girl takes it to the next level. DSP can't even touch her level of grifting. Snort. Gundam's a liar. He's an incel that hates women. Look at this great content. You're gonna tell me this needs to be DMCA? No way, buddy, no way! <laughs> shake it, shake it, baby, work it, work it. Oh my God. Oh, oh, oh. She's too tired to run. That's when I strike like a sex viper. <laughs> this isn't what you think it is. It's not copyright music. Look at that girl perform. Oh my God, she could be on the Grammys. Look at it. You want to stop this, Metallica. It's all about them titties. <laughs> I'm the master of puppets. <laughs>
other Twitch dots don't even bother with playing Just Dance. They just don't give a f And they're never going to be reprimanded because they're above the law. If you want to do well on Twitch, be cute and have nice Guarantee you get somewhere. You want to get nowhere on Twitch? Try to be a dude that's remotely interesting. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. Now, irony on level two. Back in 1999, because I Google searched it, there was a site called Napster that allowed people for the first time to share music online freely. No more calling the radio station and begging them to play hollow notes, she's gone, hoping your bitch of an ex-girlfriend would understand that she's hurting you. Anyway, Metallica, once the edge lords and the paragons of rock had become the establishment. First they cut off their hair, that's after the Black Album. <laughs> then they became super boomers. When booming wasn't enough, Lars Aldrich hit the next level. Lars Aldrich, whatever his name is, we'll just go with Lars. His level of boomer was like Super Saiyan Blue. While the boomers you usually deal with are still at Super Saiyan 2. Point being, Lars is the drummer of Metallica, aka the dude who looks like Hannibal Lecter. Lars looks like a cross between Michael Keaton and a Chucky doll. Metallica co-manager calls one day and says, we were working on a song for this Tom Cruise film, Mission Impossible 2, called I Disappear, and we recorded it in between some touring commitments. And it was gonna be held back till the next summer. And so one day I got a call from Cliff saying I Disappear is being played on 20 radio stations across America. And we're like, how the f*** is this possible? And he said, there's something called Napster where people can go and share. And we're like, how the hell do they get I Disappear? It lives in our vault somewhere. And so we traced it back to this company Napster. And as you did in those days, it was like, well, let's go f with Napster then. And what Lars describes as f with Napster took the form of legal action against the company. Well, anyway, long story short, leading the charge, our small man Lars in the RIAA went after college kids to the tune of $150,000 per song. Big numbers, man. Obviously, these kids didn't have it. So basically, not every college kid with a great idea and a successful website becomes Mark Zuckerberg. Think of how the world would have been a different and possibly better place. Who are we kidding? The world would have been a better place if it was Facebook that was sued into oblivion and not Napster. Oh, well, there's probably an alternate universe where that exists and we will never know this utopia. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. Napster gets f It becomes a pay site then dies. A lot of rockers lose respect for Metallica, me included. Multi-millionaires choking the last few dollars out of college kids' back pockets so they could no longer afford ramen. Let me just show you how lame it was. I'm going to preface this for you. During one of MTV's mini music awards that don't matter and sucked a lot of ass, I don't even know what this is from, but it kind of just shows me that MTV has sucked for way longer than I can remember. So anyway, it's Lars and Marlon Wayans who basically will be, you know, a token for any occasion. If I was a comedian and they were like, hey, Gundam, we want you to do like a video with Lars from Metallica talking about how bad Napster is. I would have said I'd rather die. <laughs> do you know who you are? You're freaking Lars on from Metallica. I love everything you do. Except for that bad show you hosted. You know what? Maybe I wouldn't have to whore myself out if you f***ing kids didn't steal my music. Uh, whoa. We're not stealing, okay? We're just sharing with each other, you know? So it's like if I take this soda can right here, take a sip out of it. Oh, my God. I'm sharing my soda with Lars. Anyway, the clip is lame as shit. It's Marlon Wayans being Marlon Wayans. He's never been funny in his goddamn life. But lucky for him, his brother had some successful shows and got his career started. Move on. It's a bad clip. We'll watch a little bit of it. I'm not even going to watch the rest of this clip. For the simple fact, Lars sitting there acting like he whored himself out of people to steal his music. Lars has more money than I'll ever know in my <laughs> life, even back then. So that's what makes this disingenuous and disgusting. It would literally be the equivalent of Elon Musk telling me, if a few more people bought Teslas, he wouldn't have to whore himself out on Twitter. Let's move on. In the end, we are now here with this draconium DMCA laws that do stuff like this. 
It's f***ing ironic, really. That Metallica would have their own music DMCA'd on Twitch's official page live. So for me, it's funny. And, on some levels, poetic justice. But, then again, does it matter? No, they don't give a shit. Maybe Headfield will put out another official overpriced Gibson guitar. I don't know. I had a good insult in mind, but frankly, an, a Gibson today is not even worth the wood it's made on. These are dark times. But as George Carlin once said, Welcome to the Freak Show. You got a front row ticket. You know, I would use this, like, Napster clip if I wanted to torment terrorists. That's what I would do. All right, where's the dirty bomb? You know, what is my integrity? Like, I'm sitting here watching Marlon Wayans be a, a stupid token. And he's probably paid well for it. His whole career has probably been paid well. He's never going to have to work a day again in his life. And I'm sitting here with my integrity eating a bag of chips. So what am I doing wrong? Where's the off button, Stu? Stu!